Hi, my name is Craig Powers. I'm from Woodridge, Illinois. This is my 71 Dodge B100 Tradesman van. It's the short wheelbase. It's got a 273 out of a 66 Plymouth Barracuda in it. Uh, it was originally a uh, three on the tree. It's now an automatic, 727 automatic, uh, that my son put in it because it was just very difficult to drive with the three on the tree. Everything was a little bit worn out. The history on this van is uh, it comes from Truckee Tahoe. My other son is a pilot and he was flying uh, uh, skydivers uh, up in Truckee for the summer and one day he was returning to his hangar and another gentleman's hangar was open. The gentleman's name is Dave and uh, this van was in his hangar. And so my son stopped by to take a look at it and talk to him and there's a long story involved but long story in short I was able to purchase the van from Dave. Uh, he is the original owner. He did most of the windows and all of that sort of thing. And uh, I was able to purchase it. We had it shipped home. Since I've got the van, uh, I've converted it to a, an automatic transmission, 727. Um, changed it to a uh, Edelbrock uh, aluminum intake with a 500 CFM uh, uh, Edelbrock carburetor. Uh, the wheels and tires are, have been changed. The, uh, Wheels are American Racing Vectors, uh, of course BF Goodrich, Patriot side pipes. The front chin spoiler has been added. These fog lights found on eBay, they're the same ones I had on my van in high school. So they're 40 years old and brand new in a box from Sears. Uh, the gentleman that had it before me, this used to have a white grill and a black bumper. He chromed all that, so it's really changed the appearance quite a bit. Got twin twin sunroofs, yeah. Uh, the louvers were added on the back windows um, and uh, the bumper also is kind of special uh, where originally it was a black painted bumper with a welded trailer hitch and so on and I uh, went to a swap meet in Pomona, California and met a chrome shop that was able to make this bumper for me uh, out of a original steel painted one and they chromed it and sent it to me back in Illinois so it, it really sets off the chrome all the way around now. So going towards the inside now we've got this uh, diamond tufted material uh, found on Amazon the orange shag carpet from there as well we've got the big beanbag chair on the left we've got uh, the uh, couch and bed combination this was uh, already in it when I got it the Dave built and the paneling is original from 1970 as well I would definitely never part with that uh, I think kind of a unique thing is this speaker grills they kind of remind me of the old console stereo you would have had in your grandmother's living room so I'm gonna leave that for sure there's Craig speakers behind there my name's Craig this bed folds out towards the front seats and then the back rest folds down so you sleep from front to back instead of side to side. Good ventilation screens on that side as well as in the door windows. Uh, the headliner is new, uh, same fabric as on the doors and the little lights new as well. Going towards the front, a uh, gentleman that I got it from also made that really nice padded dash on the top um, and converted the instruments uh, in the uh, cluster there to individual gauges and did a little bit of woodwork around the heating controls. I built the drink rack from scratch I couldn't find one. The uh, engine house upholstery and door upholstery is from trucking vans out of California and uh, that's about it. You have the swivel seats? Oh and the, sure. swivel, and the swivel seats and, uh, and they recline as well. This, as I said at the beginning of the video, this used to be a 195 slant six. And this is a 1971, but it was built in May of 70. So it's a transition model. And uh, the motor that's in it now is a 273 out of a 66 Barracuda. But I was, the intake and carburetor fit the same as if it was a 318. The block is pretty much the same. And then we had to buy a special torque converter when we made it the 727 automatic because a 318 converter was a little large.
but it's uh, manual brakes, manual steering, drums all the way around, all, all as it was born. Going forward, uh, I would like to uh, get the seats recovered so that they were black and match the rest, because the theme is obviously black and orange. Um, and the uh, sun visors are tan, I'd like to get those black as well. Um, I'd like to upgrade the front to get at least disc brakes on it, because it is a, is a little sketchy on the highway. Um, but I really like the, uh, the fact that it's all mostly original uh, 70s uh, and, and not overly modified. And uh, this is my first truck in. Um, I think I might have been one, at one back in 1978, but I don't remember it. Um, so, and I've had a, a, just a fabulous time here. I was so uh, glad to be invited by Howard. I met him at a, a car show back in uh, Woodridge, Illinois on a Tuesday night and uh, he saw my van and we talked and I got the invitation and everybody is so nice to talk to and it's just like one big family and everybody's very approachable and really enjoyed myself.